Hey, we need good news. We need good news. We need something good to happen. I know the church is saying one thing. Um, the job market is saying something else. And family values are being challenged. And it seems like an individual head is being crushed on all sides, being pummeled. Some people use marijuana sticks, sherms, zigzags, alcohol, drinking. Some of us even have our teeth weakened and destroyed by eating so much chocolate. I'm gonna tell you something else. Taking a nice shower feels great. Start collecting and adding to your repertoire things that are good for you. Sex can be one of them. It can be added to a shower. It can be added to the chocolate. It can be added to a good job. It can be added to having a good word spiritually that you hear. It can be added to having a good family. It can be added to you know, no more wars, no more trials and tribulations. But until those things change, these things that I name are necessary. For me personally, Saffron and Son is on that list. Eating at Chipotle, so y'all owe me some money. I take a check for 2.5 million for mentioning you. So eating good, I'm starting to count up all of the things that feel good for me. And the sex is one of them. So right now, just visualizing it and fantasizing about it, sometimes it's greater than actually doing it. The thought of it, the imagination of sex, is greater a lot of times than actually participating. Because if there's differences between the two people, it's almost like a crowded freeway down here in Atlanta uh, during rush hour or any hour, or just being on the wrong side of the road, uh, facing the traffic or whatever, dealing with people, very difficult. So it's better to just maybe deal with one person. I don't know much about the idea of dealing with multiple people at one time or just not into stuff like that. I haven't been a part of any environment that is created in such a thing. So I don't know if I would like it or not, but I'm glad to say I've never been a part of it. So, um, but I know how demonic forces and demons and devils work. You say something like that and all of a sudden you get put into a predicament where that's tested and now I gotta go back on my word. So put me back in the question mark category, put me back in the mystery realm and leave me there. Don't ever take me out because nobody knows what I'm saying if I feel this way for real, if this is the way it is. But the question really becomes is how are you affected, if at all? If it's just entertainment, then be entertained. But if you get something out of the sneakiness, the conniving, the manipulative, the motivational sex video that I create, then um, you know what that is. It would be nice if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cold Crown, K-O-L-D-K-R-O-W-N. Give me a thumbs up or either a thumbs down. Write a comment and then share it. All I'm talking about in a world full of high gas prices, low pay, racism off the, off the charts as usual, hatred, pandemic still crushing people's throats, people getting sick and going through hell, hospitals and you can't get benefits and all of this stuff, how hard it is to get an apartment or a um, house to rent or to buy because of the expenses that it costs to do it. Um, I'd rather just have sex. So if you got something better than that, share it with me. All right, love y'all.